One of the things I'm not interested in, not interested in at all, is this anti-agriculture narrative that's being driven by some beekeepers. I want nothing to do with that. Um, agriculture is changing. Um, it's been changing over the last 50 years, and especially over the last 10 years. <clears throat> I'm not interested in battling uh, those major societal issues. We have to adapt. We have to figure out how we can survive this massive transition agriculture is going through right now. We have to build a tap into agriculture and we have to tell these guys we're irrelevant and we need them to support us. With all this technology and all the ability that they have given farmers, the ability to manage their fields in such precision and uh, in, such, in such success, I mean, they're allowing farmers to do exactly what they were bred to do. And that's to grow a crop, grow a clean crop, and nothing but crop in that within that area. That is what farmers do, and that's what they do best. And all these agrochemical companies have developed technology around that, allowing the farmers to execute their absolute brilliance. In the meantime, beekeepers are being forgotten here. We thrive on nature. We thrive on diversity. When nature is, in a sense, taken away, and micromanaged to the point where there is no diversity, all of a sudden bees have nothing to forage on. Nature, in effect, is almost in a sense kind of disappearing. We have to realize that there is a place for us in this whole equation. We fit in indirectly, which allows the whole system to succeed. And nobody sees it. We're irrelevant and we need them to support us. We have to adapt. We have to figure out how we can survive this massive transition agriculture is going through right now. The world needs pollination. We give the world pollination. And without our bees, the world is going to run into a lot of trouble.